you know, we're really excited about this game. Obviously, it's a big game every year for us, a rival game uh, right down the road. And, uh, you know, we've won this game the last two years and certainly like to keep that trend going. Be something big for our seniors. It's a senior day for us. And this is a really good group of young men that we're sending out here. I just, you know, like to compliment them, uh, especially on this year. You know, it's easy to be a leader and have a great attitude and all that stuff when things are going well and you're going to a bowl game. But when you don't have the season you wanted to have and things have been a struggle and there's some adversity and all those type of things, then you find out what real leaders you have. And this senior class has been remarkable. I mean, their attitude and effort and the way they've kept our team having a great attitude and effort through practice this whole year and uh, through last week's game has been remarkable. So they're a, they're a really special group and hope to send them out here the right way. Any questions? Coach, you've talked in the past about how well you've practiced despite the record. Uh, but did you still sense an extra pep in their step the last couple of days after the win? Yeah, I mean, obviously getting that monkey off their back was huge, you know, uh, just to win a game. And, and watching them celebrate in the locker room was fun. And, you know, they've earned that. And, you know, we've been our own worst enemy. And, and really, we were Saturday with the turnovers. We still turned the ball over three times. And if we do that this Saturday, we won't win. Um, but it was just great watching them have success, and uh, and they have been a fun group to coach because they work hard every day in practice, which is remarkable. If you watched them, you'd say that's a winning football team practicing, uh, and uh, that again goes back to their character and the leadership on this team. Obviously, with the the records of both teams uh, still a rivalry game. Is there a sense of desperation in this game for other teams? Or just Trying to get a second win. Uh, I think it's just the rivalry, uh, Colin. I think it's just, you know, when these two teams play, it doesn't matter what the record is. It's going to be a physical game. It's going to be a, a tough football game. And both teams have a lot of pride in winning this game and playing well. So uh, it wouldn't matter. No interceptions for Josh the last two games. Uh, what have you seen from him the last two games? He's played, you know, the last two games like we hope, you know, he would play as far as taking care of the ball. The, the best thing he did Saturday, too, though, is he threw touchdown passes. You know, he. He got two, he actually threw three, had one called back, and that's what we haven't been getting a lot of this year either. You know, it's not just that uh, he was throwing a lot of interceptions, that we weren't getting a lot of touchdown passes either. So, um, but like I say, last two weeks he's really responded. Um, you know, and, and he's had some good games this year, but we just got to get more consistency as a whole offense. How are you guys helpful as in the last couple of weeks? Well, we're banged up. I mean, the schedule we've played has not been conducive to staying healthy. But uh, I think Devin Richardson will be doubtful for this game uh, with an ankle. But I think everybody else will at least be able to start the game and play. Um, just have to see how long uh, people can stay in there with some of the injuries we're dealing with. Did you like what Brennan Davis did when he filled in for Devin? Yeah, you know, Brennan is a really intelligent player. Uh, he's got a lot of experience coming from junior college and uh, you know, he plays with a lot of passion. So, you know, he, he came in and really filled the spot really well. Look at UTEP, um, how are you kind of going about it? Obviously, they, they might play Loxley, they might play Hardison. How are you kind of preparing for them? All the, yeah, I mean, they're going to play Loxley, there's no doubt. I mean, he's too good of an athlete not to. He gives them so much in the running game, and, uh, you know, and he could throw the ball. So I'm sure we'll see both, but, uh, you know, I'm certain we'll see, we'll see Loxley. Is it weird playing them this late in the year? You know, I, I kind of like it, actually. I think, you know, if, if both teams were having a really good season, that it would be a remarkable game. And even though we're not, it's still a good game. So, yeah, I think it, uh, yeah, I think it's a good place to have it. Coach, Saturday was the healthiest your offensive line has been. Did you sense a difference with having some veteran presences on the offensive line? Yeah, I mean, we're different. You know, when Sage is in there, it enables us to put Trujillo back at his normal position, which is guard instead of tackle. And, and yeah, I mean, it certainly makes a big difference. And so we'll be able to stay like that for these last couple of games because Sage can play in these last two and still redshirt. So, uh, yeah, that, that certainly helps. And it gave Josh, I think, a lot of confidence, too. You know, the protection was going to be a little bit better. And, um, you know, I mean, we ran the ball well. So that, that says something about how well they played up front, too. You talked about the senior class a little bit earlier. But just for them, in terms of having an opportunity to go out with three consecutive wins over a rival, what does that mean? Man, that would be big. And that would be a great testament to their character and, and how hard they've worked and played. And, uh, and we can certainly do that. You know, we got to do it one time, one game at a time. and. The whole key for us, again, is the turnovers. You know, if we just don't turn the ball over, we got a chance to win any game we play. And I've been saying that all year long. And, you know, we just have not been able to get that done. And that's really been, you know, the mark of this season and what has happened to this team. And it's unfortunate because it's all we preach around here is taking care of the ball and 
um, you know, and getting the ball out. And we really haven't done either one on either side. Coach, despite the record thus far this season, uh, you can attest to the fact this is a game that should, without a doubt, attract a lot of people who want to watch this game because of the, the, the long-standing rivalry. It's, they're just down the road. There's that bragging right issue. Talk about that a little bit, that it really should attract a good crowd. Yeah, I don't think there's any question, Tom. That's exactly right. It's, uh, you know, it's always a really good football game too. You know, it's two really, uh, you know, well-coached teams. I, UTEP does a great job of coaching. I think Coach Demel's doing a fantastic job down there. You can see the steps of building a program that he's taken and putting in place there. Uh, you know, both teams are going to have a lot of enthusiasm about playing this football game. And any rival game across the country, you can throw the records out. And they're always good games, and uh, this one's no exception. Did Simmons not play last week, Coach? He played some okay. and uh, and had, was banged up a little bit, okay. so we held him some, okay. yeah. Jason, Danny, anything, Coach? Coach, um, if, uh, if UTEP loads up to, to, to you know, limit Josh and look down the field, like, what, what are you sending that from defense? And I guess after running the football for two, you know, two guys over 100 yards, is that is that something to lean on? Maybe if if you test stacks the box, that's something you can you can go to again. Yeah, I don't know. First of all, you staying home and watching the view instead of being here, Jason. Come on, man, you're killing you're killing me. <laughs> All right. Oh, I think uh, I, you know, I, I think uh, obviously, you know, they want they will want to stop the run and make us throw the ball. But you know, they do a great job on defense. I tell you, because they're so multiple. You know, they jump from a three down look to a four down look. Uh, they bring a lot of pressures. They play a lot of man coverage. Uh, you know, and they disguise things really well. And uh, so I, you know, I think that's something we'll just have to see as the game goes on. And. Josh has got to be really sharp about knowing, you know, what coverage he's looking at, and is it a three-down look or is it a four-down look, uh, determining run pass and, and those type of things. But, you know, we're better, you know, right now we're better when we get the running game going, obviously, and uh, that'll certainly be a key for us Saturday. You know, the schedule, you know, as an independent, um, I think these rivalry games are always important, but just um, for the four-year players, is getting one or two of these, is that, is that kind of a major of your season regardless of what the final record is, as long as you, you know, get one of these, at least one of these two rivalry games every year? Yeah, well, the rival games are always a goal when you start every season. You know, the New Mexico and the UTEP games are always one of our main goals uh, for every team. So that's preached around here from, from day one, and um, I'm sure it is their place too. So, you know, that's the way rival games are, and it's always big. So, you know, for our seniors, this could be the third win against UTEP, and that would be huge for a senior class. I don't think there's many senior classes at New Mexico State that have ever done that. So, you know, they got a chance to do something really big here.